aren't quite doing it for me. Um, there, there's an inherent violence to the system. Um, a lot of the luxuries that we enjoy are, are built off the uh, sweat and sometimes blood of other people and human beings around the earth. So I was in the Army from 2008 to 2010 in Special Ops, and I've seen, um, we have, did I just go out? No, it's just too loud, go ahead. Okay. Um, we've, uh, we have troops in a lot of different countries all over the world right now um, that are killing people every day. And if they're not killing people, they're training paramilitary groups to kill people. Places like the Congo, Ethiopia, Sudan, uh, Pakistan, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Colombia, to name a few, just a very few. United Arab Emirates, Yemen, uh, Oman, Bahrain, Qatar. Uh, there are people that are dying every day because of what we do here because of the system that we have in place. And so when all else fails to give me inspiration to try to change it, when I have nothing else to wake up for in the morning, I remember those people. And I remember that they have families, they have mothers and fathers and children and siblings, and they're dying and they're dead and they're being killed and they're being killed. As we speak, I, I believe today, you know, at least a hundred, if not thousands of people died because of the system that we have in place. So it's, it is on us to help them. They can't do it on their own. Egypt won't have a real revolution if we don't stop in installing their dictators and backing their military governments. We have to stop it here or those people are going to continue to die. Not to mention our own rights and our own deaths and our own illegal imprisonment and the arrest of more than 4,000 peaceful protesters since the beginning of this Occupy movement. If that's not enough, which sometimes for me is just not enough, I remember the people that are dying out there and I, and I try to do what I can to stop that from happening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.